this young man you're seeing here is just last week Thursday when the devil came like a flood and forgetting that the venue where he was coming like a flood Jesus already built and rules a standard against him this is a man truly if man has not found me worthy heaven proof to me that I'm worthy sometimes we do what we do we don't know that God smiles at it and he loves them and you just feel discouraged I would advise you not to keep doing it I was coming out from a program with two of my backup singers in the car my younger brother and myself very excited only to find out there's a sharp bend in the corner where the other man is not seeing me and I'm not seeing him. We had to see each other 50 50. And at that point, what I saw is as white as the cloth you're wearing. Nothing again. Boom. And while I was trying to use the experience I could use to dodge, all I saw was all my body, the airbag, the glasses in the car. You know, Akura ZDX. You know, the devil even asked the glass on the car to stab me. But you know, when Jesus comes in a place, he doesn't make any noise. Only for Jesus to welcome the devil. Say, touch not my anointed and do my prophet no harm. I came out of the same car. Bishop, nobody could open the same door I opened and came out of. Fortunately, His Excellency was passing the governor of River State and saw this accident. He said, God, what is this? Felt like one of those dead bodies there were me. He said, look, tear the car, bring these guys out and take this one. Detached his ambulance from his convoy to pick the dead bodies. Have you been alive and people are writing under your beautiful picture, rest in peace? How can I rest in peace? When the new songs in the studio are not yet heard by the people of God. And Jesus, who knows the song is going to be a blessing. I was in the hospital. Like Papa who said, have you been ever rushed to the hospital? I was bleeding everywhere, my body. But there's this boldness in me that said, I can't die and I don't want to stay in this hospital. I don't belong here. So when the doctors and specialists were coming, I told them, look, be fast. I want to go home. They did all they would do. They did all they would do. Every scan, every this, every that. So he's stable, he's cooperating. He's this, he's that. Sold my head, sold my mouth, stitch everywhere. They were wheeling me on a wheelchair. I was looking at myself. I said, see you. Now be there for which you like not here. But when you find the people you see in the hospital and you are standing in hunger. You would love Jesus. Have you been in a mechanic before? You see people stay, stay sick in the clinic like condemned cars in a mechanic. As a bishop, if I stay here past like this, which you know reach me there, will reach me here. I, I said, doctor, if you don't discharge me, I will discharge myself. There is no anchor. Give me an altar. Let me just praise God. They were like, it's this guy. They felt that I was having an issue with my head. I said, I don't have. He said, we wrestle not against flesh and blood. But principalities and power. Now, what is my weapon? It's my praise. I said, give me an altar. 
They say, no, be now. You refuse superstar. You refuse strong man. I said, no. Somebody took the pains and the bruises. Bishop, while the rest in peace was going on, I debunked it and um, several blocks took it up. They spread it. No, he didn't die. He's cooperating. Some people were even saying, allow the family to give a, 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 a statement about the disease. That their papa be disease. I wasn't resting in peace. I was relaxing in God's presence. I found out that there were no much to talk about or do. I had to rest on Friday because the program I had was going to be hectic and I had so much pains that day. I said, Lord, I don't want to see these pains. Help me not to feel these pains. It was gradually coming down. Saturday, I called Pastor Jerry. I said, look, raise an altar of fire for me to praise. I was flown to Abuja for checkup. Unfortunately for the devil, we went into the church. <laughs> and it was a back-to-back -back praise and worship. And when they saw the whole thing still bringing out uh, flutes, and I'm still praising God like that, then you will know that this life, you don't own it. Somebody owns it. If I tell people that this could be even the fourth or fifth event I'm doing after the accident, nobody will believe. There's still a pity for me. It is not by power. It is not by mind. But by this God who seated in the heavens and make this small me his friends too. Thank you for your love and your prayers. If you have nothing to be thankful for, just that you survived 2015 to this 2023, that you asked yourself, so, not so display good day 2023, they tell you yes for 2015. You have achieved more than some billionaires that are in the grave today. Nothing can stop your worship. Nothing can stop your praise.